What up, what up, what up? What is going on, guys? Your boy GS, and welcome to week one of Takeaways franchise. Now, there's a whole bunch of commentators in this league, and it is tough to try and get victories on. Uh, week one, uh, yeah, just give me one of the best players in the Madden community. Just why not? Just, just make it tough on your boy. I went ahead and got the Panthers. Uh, you know, they were the best defensive team available. You know, in my opinion, obviously, I suck at defense, so I got to try and pick a team that can, you know, hopefully do work for me on defense. Now, I'm going up against God's Thumbs, and if you guys know anything about the Madden community, you guys know that he is one of the best Madden players, you know, out. And uh, I have been running Kansas City lately, but I didn't want to take any chances of trying a new offense against somebody as good as him. So, you know, let me go with Pistol. I'm comfortable with it. I don't know exactly how well it's going to do against him because, you know, top-level players... Uh, you know, they, they do a pretty good job of uh, being able to handle Pistol and uh, what comes along with it. So, um, his link is in the description if you guys want to check out his channel. Now, he hasn't posted in quite a while. It's just because uh, he needs to go on ahead and get an Elgato. He has the uh, the uh, HD PVR, which is incompatible with the Xbox One. So, uh, he's waiting on a, a different uh, HDMI cap card, and he'll be able to go on ahead and uh, give videos for you guys. But go on ahead, show him some love, man. Go on ahead and subscribe to him, man. One of the best players out and it uh, doesn't make it any easier that he has possibly the best team in the game. So, um, already, I, I know it's going to be a tough matchup. You know, tough to go on ahead and uh, try and, you know, provide myself with stops. I'm already looking to give up lots of points. Hopefully, I can just go on ahead and uh, keep up with him offensively. I already know he's going to be, you know, sending some heat. He's going to be sending pressure. He's uh, always been a defensive mastermind. Uh, we've played... Not too many times. I want to say me and God's Thumbs probably played five, six, seven times maybe the most. And I've been lucky enough to get one win uh, on him. And this was in Madden 13. Uh, but other than that, I I've been able to keep close one other game. But uh, he usually just mops the floor with me. You're, you're talking about, you know, one of the best Madden players around. Fourth and 18. Look at this dot. Back corner of the end zone. Just throws it up there, and what a beautifully thrown ball on 4th and 18. And I'm thinking to myself, you got to be kidding me, man. You do not get God's thumbs in a 4th and 18 situation too often. And uh, that right there would have been a great way for me to start the game, and he just scores a touchdown uh, right here immediately. I already know, okay, uh, strong pistol. Um, he, he does a good job of just containing it. So, okay, okay, he, he, he knows already on how to just basically clog up the run. So, uh, I got to be careful with that. Already, I already know. All right, I got to rely on the passing game because obviously the best runs out of pistol is strong power. And, um, you know, if you know how to clog that thing up, it's, it's very difficult to run. You're just going to be bumping into your linemen. And uh, it's just going to be like right here, I run it again. And I already know that um, he, he's going to do a good job of stopping it. So right there, send some quick pressure. You know what I mean? I hit somebody in my face within seconds. Again, he sent some more quick heat, but we're able to get the ball off. To Steve Smith, like offensively, uh, you know, the Panthers, I mean, they got uh, Cam Newton, who's a beast. You know, uh, they got Steve Smith, who's good. They got Olsen, but really no height, you know, so, um, and he's got them tall cornerbacks. So, you know, I, I got to be careful. Uh, right here, I tried a uh, makeshift screen, so that wasn't able to work. Uh, if anybody's wondering about the quality, why I seem a little downgrade, it's because I was live streaming this game and I ripped that from Twitch. Right there, drop touchdown. Again, we go back to the same play. Right off of Olsen's hands, just flat out dropped it. Now, uh, normally, you know, I would go for a field goal. But here, uh, against Gossams, you need to score points. You're not going to beat him by kicking field goals. He's somebody, you need to score touchdowns against them. And um, I already know that I'm not going to be able to win games kicking field goals. So, I have, I have to go on ahead and uh, try my best to go for it. And fortunately, it just it, it didn't work. Trust me, if anybody go, knows them, you know that's not a stupid decision. It's your only decision. You, you're not going to beat somebody this good kicking field goals. So um, I do get ball at halftime. So even if he scores, it's not the end of the world. You know, as long as I have enough time to be able to drive downfield and score. If, 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 let's say, he scores, I'm not too worried about it. You know what I mean? Like I said, I know I get ball at half. So I know I'm still in this game. And, you know, he's, he's definitely... Uh, you know, not being a dirtbag. He's not really clocking. He's not, you know, he could have taken it to the two-minute warning. He's not really doing that. He's, uh, you know, selecting plays at a pretty good pace. So, uh, he could have clocked. Or not that that would have been a dirtbag move, but you guys know what I mean. He's just uh, not trying to clock me or anything like that. So, uh, like I said, right here, we're, we're in a good position. 
you know, even though we're down 14, I wouldn't say this is a good position, but you guys know what I mean. Uh, I have the opportunity to get back in this ball game. So uh, the read option has been working a little bit. It's been uh, opening up the middle runs for me. So, you know, we're going to try and, you know, work that in. You know, hopefully we can go on ahead and uh, create a little bit of havoc running towards the inside and hopefully, you know, try to get them to uh, prepare for these runs. And the only thing that's been working is these precision fades, you know, on the outsides. Um, any other routes like my makeshift screens shut down. Um, any other routes I'm trying to go to shut down. But um, right there, overthrown. Had Steve Smith on on the fade, on, on the inside fade. And uh, you guys make see me make that throw a bajillion times, but it's just overthrown. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, you know, that's what happens when you got such uh, a rocket arm like Cam Newton, you know, and Colin Kaepernick. And he's really strong-armed guys, uh, you know, eventually... Uh, one or two of them, they're just going to sail away, and that's what happened. So, uh, we go into have into halftime. I'm down 17 0. And am I surprised? Am I shocked? No. You know, anybody watching this, you guys shouldn't be surprised either. He's he's legitimately that good. Uh, he went to the Madden Challenge in Madden 12, and um, he placed top, I believe, top 32. He did pretty well. You know, by far um, the furthest any Madden commentator has ever went. Like, he's, he's legit good. So, I already knew I, I had a. A, a tough matchup, but I'm not counting myself out. You know what I mean? I, I still feel like, you know, if I can score to get a couple things to go my way, you know, I, I've had him in a couple, you know, third and fourth downs, and yeah, I, I still feel like if I can score, maybe put a little bit of pressure on him and make him feel like he needs to score, maybe make a mistake or two from, you know, and, and I feel like I'll be okay. You know, one thing we can do is take sacks like that. Like I said, he will send pressure, and it comes in instantly. So I only have a second to get rid of the ball. Look, Just look at the defense that he has screaming at me. And uh, it's it's tough to go on ahead and, you know, try and make reads with somebody coming so quickly right there. We had Teddy getting in the slot. We end up just chucking it up. And thankfully, he doesn't drop that because he's definitely known to drop wide open passes. So right now, I'm like, okay, let's focus on a stop. Anything can happen if I make this a one possession game. You know what I mean? Who knows what can happen? Maybe a fumble, interception, something. You know what I mean? So we need to make a stop here. Huge sack by Johnson right here. And I'm like, okay, that's that's big. He goes over the middle and he ends up converting. I'm like, damn, every time I feel like I got his back against the wall, he just makes a good play just to get himself out of a tough situation. And it's it's frustrating. You know what I mean? It's definitely frustrating. Third and two, uh, he, he decided to uh, run the ball. I got him on fourth and one. And we got that QB sneak D. We end up shutting that down, uh, thankfully. So now I'm back in this ball game, right? A touchdown here or maybe even a field goal. It's still a one possession game. So, again, maybe I could get lucky with another stop as I just did. You know, you never know what could happen. So all I want to do is get on in the end zone and, and hopefully let the defense make a play for me. Right there, nobody's really open. We take off with Cam Newton and... Uh, don't get too much right there. Uh, third and 14, I just wanted to play for a field goal. I didn't want to take any chances of maybe getting a sack or throwing a forced pass, trying to pick up the first down. I was like, you know, let me play for the field goal. Let me see if I can get myself a stop. Is this a fake video? Just relying on his defense? Yes, I know, I know. I don't want to. Nobody ever wants. I mean, come on. GS and defense don't go together. It doesn't, but I, I, I had to. To make it a one-possession game, anything can happen. Right there, I thought was a, a good opportunity for an interception. He kind of threw it in coverage, and I tried to go over there as quickly as I could. Just couldn't quite get my hands on the ball. And uh, like I said, it's it's frustrating, man, to, to uh, see things like that don't go your way because he doesn't make too many mistakes. I can't stress this enough going up against a player of his caliber. Um, he doesn't make too many mistakes, and when he kind of does, you got to be able to make those opportunities go in your favor. Right there, I took a chance in run committing on the third and inches. Thought maybe he would sneak a draw or something like that. Uh, I was wrong. He passed the ball wide open over the top, ends up scoring a touchdown. So, again, I'm not out of this game. I got all my timeouts, 10 to 24. If I score here, put the pressure back on him, get myself a stop, I'm still in here. So, I, I feel good about being able to move the ball downfield. You know, I, I've, I've been able to do it a little bit. You know what I mean? As long as I can have enough time in the pocket, I, I feel like I can, um, you know, do decent. The thing is, it's tough getting time against him because he sends pressure that is screaming. So you really can't rely on routes that take too long to develop. You know what I mean? I, I don't want to take chance on any deep post or anything like that because, look, it's just edgy, just bam, 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 just coming screaming. You know what I mean? So I, I got to get rid of these balls quickly. Right here, try to screen wide open. It gets batted down. And I'm thinking to myself, you got to be kidding me. Fourth and 10 right here. We do get the pass off to Steve Smith. Thankfully, he holds on to it. Uh, right here, man, we just try to back up, try to go to the fade. And again, 
is dropped, man. We just continue to drop these passes, and it's frustrating, man. But wide open over the middle is Greg Olson. Now, again, it's a one-possession game. And I think to myself, come on, Panthers, come through. Let's get a stop. Let's put the pressure on this defense to come up big in this game. Can I come up with a must-needed stop? Now, he comes out with a strong toss. Over there towards the left, you know, good run by and picks up the first down. Two-minute warning. Again, uh, he goes back to the same formation, same run over there towards the left. Now, I don't decide to call a timeout, I, don't, I believe. I uh, let the time click in there. You know, um, God Stumps is, you know, not an idiot. He won't clock, but if it's the game is on the line, then he's got to do what he's got to do. So, um, that's the end of the game. I couldn't stop him in the clutch situation. He comes away with the victory. So, that's the end of the game, guys. Unfortunately, week two was simmed. I didn't even realize, so I don't have week two for you guys. Week three... I haven't played yet. My opponent is T-Raw. He has the Giants. It doesn't get any easier. From God's thumbs to T-Raw, what am I doing in this league, man? Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm out. Peace. Give it to me, baby.